So, around two months ago, I was browsing the Terraria wiki. As I did when I was looking to source information for my Torch video, I stumbled upon the Light Pets page, and right here it states the brightness of the Light Pets. Huh. Surprisingly, there aren't actually that many Light Pets in the game, and their brightness values all range from 65% to 120%. But what does 100% actually mean? Their percentage is meaningless if we don't know, after all. The answer can be found on the Light Sources wiki page, where 100% is listed as the brightness of a Shine Potion. Here you can find all sorts of trivia on how bright things are. For example, did you know that Plantera's bulbs are 2.5 times brighter than a teleporter? Or that glowing mushrooms are brighter than Krypton Moss? Or that even jungle spores are brighter than lava? Either way though, the light pets are right here. Based on brightness, the light pets are basically split into three tiers. Tier 3, or pre-hardwood light pets with a brightness of 65%, Tier 2, or hardwood light pets with a brightness of 80%, and Tier 1, or late game light pets with a brightness of 120%. Some of these pets are unnaturally dim for their progression state, like the Pumpkin Scented Candle and Guardian Golem. Both of these are Master Mode exclusive pets from the post Montera stage, and yet their brightness is equal to that of the early Hardwood Fairy pet. But there are clearly other reasons to use certain pets over others, even if they're the same brightness. Firstly, there are looks. Obviously you want a pet that looks good or cute or whatever you want. So for me, not this. Secondly, there's Lighting Color. Both the Shadow Orb and Crimson Heart are light pets that you can get extremely early in the game. But, I will never use them. Why? This. Especially the Crimson Heart, as both have the color rendering index of like a sodium lamp and they make everything the disgusting red or purple glow. The Magic Lantern is leagues better, but it's a bit harder to get. Thankfully, most other light pets have an actually decent color gamut. Some emit a cold white color, some emit a warmer tone. The Fairy Princess in particular emits a pinkish glow, which is cool. However, you can entirely just ignore this section if you just turn your light into white, which predictably makes everything white. Thirdly, there's the extra features of each light pet. Some can be controlled, some can highlight treasure. This is why the Wisp in a Bottle and Suspicious Looking Eye are just better than the Fairy Princess, functionality-wise. The Crimson Heart is also worse than the Shadow Orb because of this, as if it possibly couldn't get worse. Normally, Crimson items are more powerful than the Corruption counterparts, but I guess not here. Well, that's all about light pets for today. If you like lighting trivia, I recommend this video all about torches I made a while back. Of course, I recommend subscribing if you enjoy my content. Thank you for watching, and best of luck to you all.